वेलकम लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन वेलकम टू द एटीन गेम बिटवीन स्कोकी रेडर्स एंड मिड स्टार्स मिड स्टार्स वन द टॉस एंड एलेक्टेड टू बैट वी हैव सलमान एंड शहीर ओपनिंग द इनिंग्स फॉर मिड स्टार्स एंड रन ऑफ दी बलेटी ओपनिंग दी बॉलिंग फॉर Skokie Raiders. First ball has been bowled for a dot. A second ball, similar line. Batsman trying to nudge past the point fielder, but unable to do so. A beautiful evening. Again, similar shot straight to the hands of the point, but direct hit from the fielder, causing the overthrow. This is the squad for Midwest Stars. So Shahir and Salman opening. I mean, Asher, Karan, Sampath, Sami, Oways, Safter, Ali Aga, and Sunny Bati. Again, to the leg side, straight to the fielder. Uh, change of delivery definitely had a inside edge onto it or outer side of the edge from Shahir last ball of the first over a pretty decent over till now and down the leg towards a an even bounce for the keeper yet he still was able to collect it wide delivery on to the outside off stump well defended by Shahir that's the end of the over two runs coming out of it with one extra here's the squad for Skokie Raiders we have Arvind Cheru Essen Sayed Ayaz Ranadeep Haris Saeed Asif, Arif, Liaquat, Viral, and Kevin Phillip. Good shot over the cover for an easy two.
a similar delivery, well fielded by the fielder. I think it's Rana. But was not able to stop a single. hit just for a one by Shahir he opens his account and is on the non striker side at this point um, no boundary yet for their likings from both these batsmen And a change of pace by the bowler. Pretty close to the white line there. And I'll set off. Fielder claims it. He has taken a catch. It was too quick for us to judge that there's a lot of confusion there. The umpires are discussing the catch. It's given out. That was a blinder of a catch right at the point position. Salman Ahmed was not sure if it was taken cleanly, but umpires, um, after discussing, they come up with the decision that it was out. So, Midwest Stars, six for one. One last delivery in this over, but that was a big wicket. Oh, another catch, another chance there. And 
nevertheless it was going to be another single so midwest stars seven for the loss of one wicket at the end of the second over that was very excellent actually <laughs> Points table, Barrington Crested right on the top, followed by Huffman States, and then Midwest Stars, and then Chicago Players, and uh, nevertheless, uh, the last, at the last, it's Cookie Raiders. So it's an important game for Midwest Stars. I believe Raiders have one more game, Skokie Raiders have one more game after this one. A big appeal. Umpire said no right away. So this partnership is very crucial for Midwest Stars as Karan Kumar and Shahir Hassan, as you know, are big guns for their team another nicely tucked away for a single Karan Kumar is pretty smart in that way he, he realized the fielder was just at the 30 yard circle so he just kind of tucked the ball away just for an easy single Donna deep His third ball on the left side will be given wide. Should he trying to slap the ball out of the ground, out of the park? Missed it, but it was nevertheless a, a wide ball, so a free single added to the total. So Midwest Star now eight for the loss of one. Nice delivery. Ranadeep saw Shahid coming out of his crease. He changed his length, bowled him a shorter one, and Shahid was not able to accommodate for the shorter length. Hit him on the pads. deep to Shahir and that will be an easy single both batsmen are in the defensive mode at this point since they lost their f first wicket pretty early in the second over No single there. One last delivery in this over. Defensive play by Karan Kumar. It was a length ball and he could have drive the ball harder, but he decided to just go for a single. So Midwest Stars, 10 for the loss of one wicket at the end of the third over.
fault has and he still didn't able to connect the ball. Bit of surprising. Shahid has yet to show his aggressive side. Oh, that's a nice drive. Nevertheless, it will stop at the 30 yard circle for the fielder. So Ronald Deep has been very economical so far. Uh, he just gets given five run in his two overs. Said Ahmed. Uh, he's been pretty economical as well. Got a no wicket under his belt. Another nice delivery. Karan Kumar playing with a straight bat, not taking any chances. Say that, as I would say have not a very smooth bowling action uh, kind of little orthodox in between he stops and he just kind of I guess a shake of his hands it can be deceiving for the batsman exactly what I'm saying right now it's a nicely played and it will go all the way for a six great execution by Curran I think both Karan and uh, Shahir at this time taking their sweet time. They know that how important their role is in this game for the Midwest Stars. And they want to cash that in. Skokie Raiders have taken a fielder in the deep. been given over. Karan Kumar was asking for a wide ball. Empire was not interested. So Midwest stars at the end of four overs, 17 for one. I'm pulling a fuller length. Shahir went for it. Totally missed it. Got a little inside edge off of the pads. Otherwise, could have been close. Karan Kumar just giving a bit of advice. Probably telling him try to time the ball first before you start going for big shots run a deep to Shahir shorter delivery couldn't get all of it it will drop right in the middle of the two fielders an easy single
slower delivery from Rana. Got an was expecting pace delivery nevertheless. Missed it altogether. So no run on this occasion. As we know in T twenty format any dot ball is considered golden. Again, very carefully played. Karan Kumar again, realizing that all the fielders on the 30 yard circle, he just tucked the ball away. Very easy, nice single. Giving the strike to Shahir. Shahir this time just couldn't get hold of it. It'll be easy catch for the keeper, yes. And that's end of Shahir Hassan. It was a shorter delivery. Shahid went for it. The ball came on right on top of him. And he was unable to manage that shot. Getting a top edge. And it was an easy catch for the keeper. So Skokie Raider striking early in the game. Midwest 19 for the loss of two wickets. Next batsman is Sunny Bhatti. And we all know uh, Sunny that he can Sunny can score really at a fast pace as well. A very beautiful, nice evening at Hanover Park, Illinois. Another nice delivery from Rana. It'll be another dot ball, as I say. It'll be another golden ball. No run on this occasion. Midwest Stars, 19 for the loss of two wickets and then the end of five hours. And they're really struggling at this point because they didn't have runs on the board and they have lost two crucial wickets. But nevertheless, these two batsmen can really change the game really fast. So there's still a lot more cricket to come.
Mr. Svora coming to the tech. I'll be soon giving the mic to my Australian friend here. Karan Kumar, at this time I wanted to take another single. Sunny, but he not interested, so he sent him back. Me <laughs> bol. That's nicely placed for a single between the gully and the keeper. can see Karan Kumar is actually building his innings nicely he's only going after the bad deliveries and trying to rotate the strike otherwise we'll see what Sunny Bhatti has in place there comes Horace another easy single Still pretty defensive play. That's what happens when you generally lost two early wickets. It changes the momentum. That's nicely pulled for a single. Lights have came on at the Hanna Park ground, although I think it's too early. Nice full, fuller length delivery this time. Sanipati has it managed to just stab the ball. No single. So Midwest Stars 22 for the loss of two wickets at the end of sixth over. So power play is done. And I have to say that Skokie Raiders have really restricted Midwest Stars at this point of the game. We'll be back with our Australian commentator. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty nice evening here. New bowler in place. Name is Asit Desai. Bowling left arm round over the wicket. Karen Kumar still playing pretty defensive here. Another nice delivery.
So for the line length for calculator is right on dot. That's nicely played by Karen Kumar. It's a reverse sweep, nevertheless. He'll only get a couple of runs for his efforts. Have the side this time on the shorter side, volume of weight, and it'll be easy two runs for Karen Kumar. No single. Overall, pretty decent over by Asif Desai. Only four runs off this over. Midwest 26 for the loss of two wickets at the end of seven. That's nicely. Uh, ball just stopped right before the boundary. Nevertheless, it'll be easy two runs. Red vest is on the defensive side at this moment. At the beginning of the 8th hour, there are just 28 runs on the board. Harris to Curran. Nicely pulled away, Curran going for a second, and he'll make it quite comfortably. Curran is playing very, I should say defensively. He's not taking any chances yet to go for a big one. He just played the ball in merit. Oh, that's a full toss. He could not get hold of that full toss. He'll be easy catch for the fielder. And it's been taken. I was really surprised. Curran didn't put all his effort in this full toss. He could have thrown this ball literally out of the park. Nevertheless, he decided to just lift the ball away. And the ball got too much elevation. Easy catch for the fielder. And the mid-wicket position. 
so current Kamar's Kamar goes as well. Midwest 31 for the loss of three wickets, 7.4 overs. New batsman. New bat's been in. Sayed Safdar. Hot is trying something different and going outside off and missing the line. And umpire gives it a wide. Foolish length. Um, driven towards the covers, looking to come back for two, looks like they'll just settle with a single. This is good pressure being built from the Skokie Raiders, uh, they're containing their runs and they're starting to chip in with the wickets as well. Midwest looking like they're under a little bit of trouble. Once again into the block hole. Clip towards the fielder at mid wicket for a single. End of a pretty decent over from Harris and the Midwest Stars are 34 for 3. Driven towards the covers for a couple. Uh, earlier in the over, that first delivery looked like it was a drop chance. Asif Desai didn't look too happy with himself there. Quite a big, big wicket too, that of Sunny Bhatti. Nicely blocked. It's a good delivery. Skokie continuing to put the pressure on. Short, outside off some ball. That's brilliant at the fielding, at the point. And looks like they've run an overthrow actually. So it was a great stop to prevent that single in the end, conceding that overthrow. Nicely cut away too from Sayed.
Stepping down the wicket. This looks like it could be an opportunity. Oh, that is just brilliant. That is a brilliant effort here at the boundary. Just look at how close he is to that boundary. Coming in at least 20 yards from the mid off long off fielding position and that is just brilliant from Liakat. Massive wicket of Sunny Bhatti here and Skokie Raiders continue to chip in with the wickets. Look at that, that is just brilliant. Sliding, keeping his eyes on the ball and he takes an excellent catch at the boundary. Midwest in deep, deep trouble now. We'll be back. What a beautiful catch to end Sunny Bhatti's innings there. Very well judged right at the boundary line, making sure he doesn't cross. Liakat taking the second catch of the day. Both of them eligible for the best catch of the match for today. Midwest Stars already four down. Harris coming back into his third over. Sami, who's the new batsman, will be facing him, uh, facing his second delivery. Ooh, that is an amazing catch, I guess. I know. That's Liakat again. Gave in his 100%. Almost taking a blinder. Oh, look at that effort. I'm really disappointed with him, but um, great, uh, great effort there. Down the leg side, uh, easily trapped for a single. Fielded by Sohail. Defended by Sayed Safdar, showing some respect.
Hart is bowling a very tight line there. Not giving away any loose deliveries. Just has conceded one run off this over. Midwest Stars already on the back foot. Oh, pulled away by Sayed. One bounce for four. Commentator's curse, I would say. Harris was bowling a very good over and bowls up a little short. Sayed Sabdar was ready for it and just pulls it for a boundary. A very well needed boundary for uh, Midwest Stars. After 10 overs, uh, they are 42 for 4. We still have Amin, Asher, Sampat, Uwais and Aliaga to come in. I'm surprised to not see Asher Mehdi come in early with his experience. He could have definitely uh, hold up on one end and steadied the ship for Midwest Stars. And definitely they have a different plan. Asif coming into his third over. Well targeted delivery right onto the stumps. Batsman just defending it. Outside off stump. Batsman tries to push it for a single. Straight into the hands of the fielder there. No run. Asif coming in for his third delivery, tapped by Sami for a single to mid on. Sayed Safdar trying to play it and pushes it to the leg side for a single. Here you go. Here we have Liakat fielding at the boundary who has taken amazing two catches and that was a very good effort for the catch that he missed. Sami back on strike. And I'll set off. Hitting into the fielder. Uh, no run there. Again, at this point, these two batsmen needs to uh, steady the ship by forming a partnership. Go for singles, at least for two more overs, not just stay at one end. And then go for the shots to uh, have a this respectable uh, total again offset off this time a little white of the uh, point fielder allowing them to take a single that's the end of the over three overs completed by Asif he has given away 10 runs 
and taken one wicket. Midwest Stars with a run rate of 4.09 after 11 overs, 45 for 4. Here we have the bowling chart for the Skokie Riders. Four bowlers used already. And you can see what their economy is amazing. Uh, they have not given away any uh, loose deliveries. And we have a new bowler here. It's Liakat. Definitely trying his luck with the ball today. Already very good on the fielding. Let's see what he does with the ball. Full toss. Tapped on the leg side. Batsman looking for two. Sohail picks up and throws it. By the time he could complete his throw. Uh, they were able to complete two runs without any issues. A good start for the over. Full toss again. Tapped to the long off region. for a single which brings Sayed Safdar on strike oh that came in sharp but there was an appeal but definitely there was an inside edge And probably outside off as well. Just to remind you for the viewers, this is the 18th game between Skokie Raiders and Midwest Stars. Oh, again down the leg side. As I was saying, uh, 18th game at Hanover Park. Midwest Stars definitely need this win to stay on the uh, top of the table, uh, at least on the yeah, top of the table. And they also definitely need those margin. Oh, again, wild swing, and there you go. Straight into the hands of the keeper, Arvind Charul, not making any mistake. It was an easy catch for him, and an easy decision for Amea to give Sami out. Again, Liakat doing wonders with the ball as well, taking a wicket. That's the end of Sami. Faced 13 deliveries and scored 7. The strike rate of 53.85. New batsman in is Wes.
Wiz facing his first delivery. Wide down the leg side. Good collect by Arvind there. Wiz Siddiqui coming in at a crucial time. They definitely need. He's a good hitter. Um, he has played four games, not contributing much with the bat. Just five runs. That's very beautiful. Outside off. Hitting it over the cover. Just for a single though. He gets off the strike. Opens his account. That's the end of the over. Six runs given by Liakat in his first over. And definitely taking a, a, a wicket as well. Which brings uh, 12 overs up. 51 for 5 Midwest Stars. They would definitely need some good total to have the run rate up. Here's a glimpse of the uh, points table. Net run rate for Midwest Stars doesn't look good and they definitely uh, would need those two points to be on top of the table but looking at the run rate they really need a big margin to win and go on the top of the table uh, they would be if they win this game today they would be in the second position which they would like to but if they win with a bigger margin they might go past Barrington Crescent Skoki Riders, Raiders, definitely giving them a fight. Not making them look it easy. Our new bowler, Viral Taylor. Nice loopy delivery. Outside off though. No run. Again, a loopy delivery outside off. <laughs> right away turns to the umpire. Uh, umpire letting it go. Again, a loopy delivery tap. And then they run. Uh, completed easy. Hale was a little deeper on the 30 yard. And down the leg side, taps it for a single, keeper collects it. Say so it's up there, completes a single. Loopy delivery again. Uh, Ways unable to come under the ball. Just gets it for a single. Oh, a little quicker in the air. Batsman completely misses it. Uh, good take by Arvin again. Completes the over. Again, we're all giving only three runs from his over. Midwest Stars definitely need a boundary every over from now.
down the leg side. Nicely flicked by ways for a single. Projected score shows it's at 84. Midwest Stars definitely need more than that to defend. Nice delivery again in the block hole. Batsman digs it and tries to get the second run. A good throw, but they needed a direct throw. Wiz was really fast and was able to complete it without any issues. Again, uh, the current run rate is 4.3, 4.27, and the projected show scores shows as 86. And as I mentioned, Midwest Stars definitely need more. The batting lineup we have with and the experience that Skokie Raiders have in their team. Still both the batsmen looking for that one boundary of the over. Trying to squeeze every opportunity that they can get. A full toss delivery. There you go. Oh. Straight into the hands of the fielder. And that's the end of Sayed Saptar. Midwest Stars continue their fall of wickets. It's definitely one of the. Uh, let's see who comes in. Sure, Ashar Mehdi comes in for Midwest Stars. Probably too late. 13 hours gone. 59 for 5 or 59 for 6 Just look at that scorecard. Definitely Midwest Star don't want to look on it. No start whatsoever. Oh. Just trying to get rid of that screen. There you go. Oh. Usher made the opening his account with the risky single. Gets up the strike. Brings in always on strike. Nice delivery on the off. Very well played just for a single. That's the end of the over. Seven runs off the over and a wicket of Sayed Sabtar. Midwest stars 61 for six. Uh, the loss of uh, after 14 overs. Just looking at the batting chart. No real partnership, no uh, good partnership between the players, and again there are no uh, no starts. Uh, Karan had a start, cautious start, but again could not capitalize on it. Uh, Sayed up there was middling the ball very nicely, but again, but he was not able to middle the full toss and ended up 
sending it directly to the fielder who didn't even have to move an inch and completed the catch. Vidal Taylor back into the second over. Definitely Viral is getting some nice bounce. Just bowling outside off stump. Batsman unable to come under the ball and clear the field. But again, nice loopy delivery. Just tap for a single. The singles are not going to do much for Midwest Stars at this point. Ashur Mehdi back on strike. Again a tossed up delivery straight. Over the boundary for a six. It was a little over pitch. Asher Mehdi was able to just clear the boundary with a six. A well needed six for Midwest Stars. Okay, in a loopy delivery. Unable to connect it. Just getting it over the mid wicket region for a single off of the strike again tapped on the leg side with Siddiqui playing sensibly and taking a single and giving it to Usher Mehdi Nice, nice bounce there to complete the over. Again, outside off, bouncing a little more than expected, uh, and batsman unable to connect it. End of the over. But all a little expensive, uh, going for 12, uh, giving it 12 runs. Uh, the score is 70 for six after 15 overs. Five more to go. Saeed back into the attack. Ball this first ball just for a single. Again, Midwest Stars definitely need one boundary for over. Ah. Uh, Outside the off stump, Usher Mehdi going for it.
driven. Again, batsman looking for two ways, his back. Good running. He was going to the danger end. He just turned around and just ran. As you can see, he just tapped even before uh, it was his call. He just turned and just tapped, ran to the danger end and completes this double without any issues. Good running again, good sensible running by ways. Full toss. That sounded sweet. Umpire waiting for the signal. Signal six. That was sweetly timed. Full toss. Finally a full toss going over the boundary. Not to the fielder's hand. Again, as I, was, as I had mentioned previously, Asher Mehdi definitely should have come up the order with the experience that he has. Can uh, I talk? I, oh, there's a missed chance by Vidal. He was still moving when he was trying to take that catch. He was not under the ball. He was still moving as you could see. And ball just bouncing off his hand. Unable to uh, finish the catch. That gets them two runs again. Hits it to the long off fielder. For a f long on fielder for a single. That's the end of over number 16. 82 for 6. Asher Mehdi on 19 of 9 balls. Definitely has given some, some hope and given some uh, encouragement to Midwest Stars. Ranadeep Leti coming back to the attack. He look at his figures. Three over seven for one coming in for his last over. Oh, full toss. Gain ball landing safely. By the time Syed Essen could pick up and throw it back to the bowler, they complete two easy runs. The projected score shows as 103. Now oh, again, as a respectable total, definitely score curators would see any anywhere over 130. Again, a lofted shot, high up in the air. Fielder unable to get to the ball. to the hand of the fielder but he was not able to gather it. Batsman complete a single. Brings back Usher 
on strike. Always just dealing in singles. Oh, again, a change of pace. Always looking for two. Rightfully sent by Usher. Usher unable to connect that one. Getting inside half of the bat and going on the leg side just for a single. Runner deep not giving any room for the batsman to come under the ball and Score a boundary out of it. Again, change of pace. A good try by the bowler. But, again, as you can see, always trying to go hard. Unable to get under the ball. Just getting a single. Last ball of his spell. Oh, this one definitely sounded good and is dispatched for a six. Asher Mehdi getting that boundary or a six of Ranadip Eliti's last ball. Ranadi Belliti completing his spell of four overs for 19 for one. Midwest Stars trying to
end of 18 overs 97 for 6 with 4 wickets in hand at least one of these batsmen should go for the shots Harris coming in for his last over. Away is on strike. Shot. Just for a single, brings in Usher on strike, who is hitting the ball cleanly. He is on 30, just facing 16 deliveries. And outside off, not giving any room for the batsman to come under. I asked, chasing the ball, keeping it down for a single. Again, Skokie Raiders would not mind the singles at all. Mm -hmm. Nicely. Bold and nicely uh, hit as well by Wes for a single. Again, the fielders are quickly on to the uh, ball. Uh, nicely bowled again into the ball hole, not giving any room for the batsmen to free their arms. Again, a single. Four singles of this over. With the stars crossing 100. Again, nice shot by Oase again with this a little heavy outfield ball doesn't travel that quickly nevertheless able to complete two runs for his team Final delivery of Harris over. Yeah, that's that was an appeal for a leg before batsman shifting cross gets an inside edge. That's the end of nineteenth over one oh four for six. Usher, Usher Mehdi will be on the strike. Oh, 
Owes will be on strike for the last over. Said coming in for his final over. He has given away 23 runs and taken one wicket from his three overs. Again, bowling into the block hole. Batsman just able to get a single out of it. Definitely, Skokie Raiders have bowled really good tonight. Making the use of the slower delivery very nicely. And outside off, that's well connected and goes all the way for six. A little wide outside the off stump and Usher Mehdi making a full use of it. A beautiful looking shot, shot of the day. Nice. Again, this time on the leg side, going far. Just look at the fielder trying to fetch the ball. That was in his arc. Connects it so good. It was a very good sound from his bat. For a maximum, two consecutive maximums by Usher. Definitely trying to reach to his 50. He has scored 44 of 20 balls. Again, a slower one. Again, uh, Fielder missing it completely. Umpire gives it a no ball. Definitely high over his hip, but really ordinary uh, effort there by the fielder. Uh, Usher right away asking for the no ball as soon as he hit the ball the bowler uh, sorry the fielder misses it and the ball crosses over I'm sure I think he has hurt himself we have a substitute fielder for him this would be a free hit Again. good Again, overthrows and Usher Mehdi giving away his wicket. He hit the ball straight into the hands of the fielder. Ball getting diverted. The bowler picks up and throws it back to the keeper. And Usher unable to make his ground. That brings his innings to an end well played that brings in Sampath Reddy okay, well applauded by his teammates as you could see in the dugout Definitely made a lot of difference with his score. Two more deliveries left. Offside is over. Again, a wild swing and a miss. For a precious dot ball.
Again, high in the air. Ayaz coming and take his takes a good catch. Well judged catch. There you go. That's the end of the first innings, Midwest Stars. A 128 for three, as you could see, none of the batsmen were able to capitalize on the start. Karan Kumar played, played very cautiously uh, down the order. Asher Mehdi came in and played a vital innings and scored 49 of 22 balls, which gave them the uh, respect to, I hope, the total is good for 123. I hope they could defend. This is the bowling chart. As you can see, the last over, uh, Saeed Ashar Mahdi made sure that uh, Saeed's figures were messed up. It, he has an economy of 10.50. Asif Desai, four overs, 13 runs, one wicket. Liakat taking two brilliant catches and taking two vital wickets. We will be back after a short break. Stay tuned.
welcome back ladies and gentlemen to for the second innings between Skokie Raiders and Midwest Stars Midwest Stars batting first putting on 123 on the board Skokie Raiders opening batsmen Sayed Essen and Arvind Cheru are on the ground Midwest Stars as I mentioned would definitely like to get the win and go on top of the table and for Midwest Stars Amin Jilani will be uh, opening the bowling attack Here you go. First ball of the inning, second innings. A lovely drive. Straight into the hands of the fielder. No run. Too much swing. All the wide by the umpire. <coughs> oh, <laughs> right in between both the f keeper and the first slip, unable to collect the catch. He went for the dive, but unable to collect it cleanly. Sayed Ezen getting a chance. Catch dropped on zero by Sunny Bhatti. Oh, beautiful delivery there. Just leaving the batsman. Sayed Ezen trying to drive it unable to get any connection this time <clears throat> and this time onto his paths say so yeah, in presenting the straight bat and defending it Again, no room given by the bowler. Said Essen respectfully defends it. Again, they don't need a flying start. Skokie Raiders, they need a 6.42 run rate. Oh. That's picked up and sent it to the cleaners. It's out of here. That was a well connected shot by Sayed Essen over the cow corner and deposits outside the boundary for a huge six. Just look at that. It sounded so good. 
and uh, Syed Essen is off the mark with a beautiful six and at the end of the first over we have seven for zero Sampat Reddy Baraji coming in for the second over for Midwest Stars his first school key Raiders need 117 from 19 overs the run rate of 6.16 Going after the ball, wide signal by the umpire. <clears throat> Again, looking at the previous six, that was well connected, right in the sweet spot, and it was out of here. These two both batsmen love the shots, going for the shots. They will not hold back. Oh. That was again going for the shot. It bounced a little bit higher, going off of his forearm. Even runs actually. Could be his glove. Good call by Arvind. Nice ball. Respectfully left by Arvind Cherubu. Not going after it. A good carry to the keeper as well. <coughs> Ball stopping right in front of the boundary. The batsmen are completing three runs. He was uh, a little uncomfortable playing the shot, but is going over the third man region. 
have any fielder there. Easy three. Again, a pull shot just tapped it through the long on long on region for a single Midwest stars definitely need a a breakthrough in the power play to keep the momentum going for the team last ball wide Nice delivery by Sampath to end the over. <coughs> Eight runs off of this. Score key rate is 15 without loss after two overs. I mean, coming back for his third over, second over. Midwest Stars uh, looking for the big through breakthrough and uh, definitely score curators having a cautious start. But definitely going for the shots as well. Oh, that bounced. Had to keep it down. Not looping up. Definitely a better start than Midwest Stars. West Cokie Raiders and a wild swing and a miss by Essen. Well played, showing the full phase of the bat. Nice looking shot, but just going straight into the hands of the fielder. Nice line there by I mean not giving enough room. Straight into the hands of the point fielder, no run there. Okay, and the sound coming off of uh, Saeed Essen's bat is amazing, he's middling it.
and trying to hit down the leg side unable to connect it not even crossing the uh, 30 yard circle just completing single out of it one run coming off of that I mean second over Skokie Raiders uh, 16 without loss Sorry for the interruption there. Just getting some clarification on some changes. There you go. Let's start again. Balaji coming in for a second over inside and swinging delivery. Hits him high on the pads. Waiting for the score to update the score uh, for the bowler's name. We have uh, Balaji Sampatredi Balaji 
bowling a second ball again trying to get under the ball as in going for a shot but unable to connect well sometimes the low scoring games are a little tricky Outside off stomp. Umpire gives it a wide. That's a good shot over the cover area, all the way for six. That was in his arc, as I was mentioning it to you, he middled it very cleanly, a six. To add to the total, which brings 23 without lo any loss and 3.2 overs. The required run rate under 7, almost 6.6. .6. Again, beautiful shot. The thick outfield and able to clear. Oh, good throw by Curran, but not disturbing the stumps. Batsman able to complete two. Oh, oh. That came off of nowhere. Good bounce hitting the helmet and rolling down onto the stump and disturbing the uh, timber. As in, unfortunate there. And he has to depart. For 17 off of 18 deliveries. New batsman in. Harris. Again looking at the ball. Good bounce. Hit him on his shoulder and his helmet and then ricochet to the stumps and the bales come off. Really unfortunate way of getting out. He was hitting it cleanly. Definitely uh, a positivity on uh, Midwest side getting that wicket of Essen who was hitting them cleanly. That should definitely boost them a little more, which we could see in the field change that they have right now. They have a second a flying slip and a shot third man as well for the new batsman. So definitely a short ball coming in again. Oh, swing and a miss. Har is sent in to continue the momentum for Skokie Raiders but uh, definitely he was not able to connect that so that's the end of four overs Skokie Raiders 25 of one
I mean, back into the attack. Outside off stump, going for a wide. Arvind taking the slow start. Normally he would have hit a boundary by now. Definitely asking for a wide now. Uh, ball leaving him. Really good uh, shape there by Amin.
New batsman Sohail Patel onto the strike. Haris, oh, Viral, sorry, Viral <coughs> got a big inside edge and lost his wicket. I mean, providing the breakthrough. School curators. 33 for 2. I mean, coming in and respectfully defended by Sohel. Over one outside off stump. So he leaves it, lets it go.
here you have it the summary for the game Skooky Raiders 56 for 2 After 11 hours, uh, Arvind Sheru taking his time, holding up one end. And there was an injury there for Oways. He had to cut shot his over. Usher Mehdi completing the over for him. Giving away three runs. Salman coming into the attack. Sohail just lets it go. <sighs> Gain wide outside the off stump. Quicker deliveries. Sohail coming down the track and just lets it go. Outside off, cuts it for a single. Run rate creeping up from uh, runner ball to 7.88. Again, Skokie Raiders are not in a bother at this point because they still have Ayaz. Beautiful shot by Arvind, but there is a fielder out there just for a single. Again, uh, game number 18 between Skokie Raiders and Midwest Stars at the Skokie ground. Again, dancing down the track, reaching for the ball, and Jazz gets a single. So hell again Salman trying to get to his run up very quickly. He tends to go over get completes his over very quickly. Again, side outside off. Unable to field off his bowling. And that allows the batsman to complete a single. Four runs coming off of that over. Skoki Raiders after twelve overs. 60 for 2. 64 runs needed in 8 overs with a run rate, required run rate of 8 per over. Here's the warm chart. Going side by side. tall buildings there this is the side over by over comparison Usher Mehdi coming back into the attack Uh, 
are wind on strike. The ball just died before the fielder could pick up. A lot of dew out there. As you can see, Usher trying to keep the ball dry. Full toss. By the time fielder could come in, <laughs> pick up and throw the ball. It's just two runs completed. Ball slips out of his hand. As you could see, uh, Sharmedi trying to dry the ball. Definitely some dew out there. Very pleasant night at Hanover Park. Pressure building. Oh, well bowled by Asher there. Outside off, Paul's kidding. Batsman unable to uh, make any contact. Oh, that's a huge hit. Outside, well connected by Sohail. Usher just a little short with his pace, Sohail was just waiting for it and deposits it outside the boundary for a six. Good clean hit. Still run rate 7.5. Oh, wild swing there by Sohail. That completely misses it. Good ball. He's getting an inside edge onto the pads. No run off the last ball. So 13 overs gone, 69 for two. 55 runs still needed off of seven overs. Fifty-five needed in forty-two deliveries. Uh, definitely uh, Salman will go get over very quickly with his over. Any dot ball will definitely bring added pressure to the Skoki Raiders batsmen. Well, they still have quite a few people to come bat but still any dot ball will be an added pressure to them again trying to give himself some room and trying to clear over the inner circle but unable to do so Arvind on 21 off of 26 and trying to go over the leg side, giving himself some room and trying to heave it over the uh, leg side. But again, uh, no connection there. Just gets a single. Oh, that climbed, but unfortunately, the keeper also misses it. He 
was looking for the stumping chance. Well, figure one. As soon as there was pace on the ball, Arvind tried to heave it again. Straight going to the straight into the fielder, but the throw was not that good. Resulting in a single. Bouncing down the track. A good shot by Sohail. As I mentioned, I definitely would try to get a boundary of every over now. Ayas Patel there in the dugout ready to come out if needed. Again, dancing down the track, taps it down to the long on fielder for a single. That's the end of the over, 14 overs gone, 77 for 2. 8 runs conceded out of this over. Looks like Karan Kumar is in to the attack. And definitely their options are to go a little slower. You could definitely see some coming down the track by Sohail. Sohail just changed his bat as soon as he saw Karan. He changes his bat again. Let's see. This would be a crucial over. Four fielders on the uh, edge of the boundary on the leg side. Oh, Again, Miss Q hit, ending up in result, uh, one run. Karan coming in for the second delivery again. A beautiful shot. Oh, well taken by Sayed Essen. Outside the boundary. Again, too wide. Arvin loves the shot. Clears it completely easily oh, with a extra cover. Oh, again, trying to go on the big heave on the leg side. Wanted to send it on the leg side this time, but gets an inside edge onto the pads and gets a single.
one of the fielders who was standing on the leg side easily stayed to him oh quicker one given a wide got a not not happy with the decision really quick This time on the leg side, proving to be an expensive over for balls. Two more to go. Again, trying to give some room. What just happened there? Arvind hits it, demands for a single. So hell, a little slow to start. Uh, Sunny Bhatti hitting the stumps with his pads. By the time he could dislodge the stumps, approved the stumps. So hell was in. <laughs> And when luck doesn't go your way, nothing goes your way. As you could see, he should have stayed in the back to collect the ball. When he tried to come in the front, uh, he just dislodges it, the bales, and he had to pick up the stump. But by the time he could do that, the batsman was in. Oh, down the leg side of the pads. Easy single. Thirteen runs coming off of that over. Ninety for two after fifteen overs. Thirty-four needed from. 30 balls. Sami coming into the attack. Definitely a wicket here would give them some hope. For the Midwest Stars. Definitely could see their body language a little deflated. Go Raiders have a lot of uh, batting to come. And they would definitely go for the shots and try to end this before five overs. Oh, slower one. Good disguised delivery. So Hale was trying to send it to the moon. Unfortunately, yeah, just ball staying too low, unable to connect. Okay, shorter one. Good pace delivery. So Hale wanted to go for the cow corner area, but unfortunately gets a thick inside edge straight to the keeper. That brings so Hale's innings to an end. That brings in Ayaz Patel.
again is this the turning point will one bring two for Midwest Stars will they be able to get a couple more wickets and put some pressure on Skokie Raiders let's find out Tapped for an easy single to open his account. Yes, Patel. Inside edge. Arvind not timing it today, not finding the uh, middle of the bat. Gets an inside edge again, trying to heave it, but just getting a single. Slower one again, full toss though. Onto the pads, both the batsmen. Good call by As Patel for two. Outside edge, no slip. Gully fielder had to run and get it to the deep th third man region. Three runs conceded of that ball. End of over number 16, 97 for three. 27 needed of 24 balls. Looks like Usher is going to bowl this over. The previous over from Curran was a gamble. Definitely should have gone with uh, Usher Mehdi to build that pressure. At this point, if Midwest Stars are able to uh, contain them by not giving them a boundary, Skokie Raiders would definitely be in pressure and when they try to do something different again it's too easy for Ayaz Patel just working the ball tapping it for a single twenty six needed of 23 deliveries full toss definitely I sure had delivered with the bat today Oh, try to stop it. Will he throw? Ooh. 
wrong end, I would say. He tried to throw it to the bowler's end. Okay, and first of all, a good stop. I tried to throw it on the non-striker uh, end, but the batsman was already there. Fortunate for them that they did not consider the overthrow. Okay, and in the block hole. Not sure, Mehdi definitely bringing in some experience right here. Two runs off of his four balls. Two more deliveries to go. Skokie Raiders 99 for three. Will this go to the last over or will they be able to finish it? a little quicker and a slower one again asking for too much from the fielder still he was able to And the block hole straight to the hands of the fielder. Very good over by Asher Mehdi. 24 needed and three overs. Skokie reached their 100. At this point, it would be neck and neck. As you can see, very close to each other. Will they keep their nerves and just tap singles and try to finish this game or will they try to go, go for the glory and try to finish it before that? Sami into the attack. Oh, full toss onto his legs. By the time Safdar could pick it up and throw it back. Oh, that's one shot by the batting side. Amaya signals it. Let's see if he could catch it. So it's just one run. That's uh, yeah, eyes on strike. Slower one. Again, unable to connect Shahir. Running behind. It's easy to. Sami coming in, getting onto the pads. This time he has to run off his own bowling. Now Karan comes in, but still two easy runs. Sami definitely needs a good comeback. Arvind. A little tired. Oh, that sounded sweet. It's high up in the air. And dropped. Definitely needed to take that one. It was high up in the air lost there for a minute but straight in and straight out of uh, believe it was
Balaji. Definitely needed that catch. But that added two runs. Again, a slow one. It hits the batsman on his elbow. He was down the track. Ooh, that was bad. Ayas Patel uh, got the magic spray for the previous ball. Slower delivery again. Goes for a shot. Again running in. Not able to reach it. I mean Jelani. An easy two runs to complete the over. Nine runs coming up of that over. Of Sami, he completes his four overs, 27 for one, 15 needed of 12. Usher coming in to bowl the uh, 19th over. Oh, in the block hole. And trying to run. Single by Arwind to get off the strike. Eleven balls, fourteen runs needed. Full toss. Ayas just swings it to the. Oh, again a one shot by the batsman umpire. Both the time it was Ayaz Patel who has one shot.
Again in the block hole, straight into the hands of Usher. A very valuable dot ball. With every single ball, as you could see, the run rate, required run rate, is increasing. Oh, good shot again. Curran trying to cut it over, but I'm sure he's not going to build. Oh, just taking one single. Very good fielded by Curran. Cuts it down to, keeps it down to one run. Very important ball of the match. Comes down the track. Again, Karan. Very good fielding. Very good throw. Keeps it down for just a single. Five runs off of Usher's over. He completes his day today with 20 without any wicket. From the last over, they need 10 runs. Usher did a great job with the bowling and the batting as well. Definitely. A good contribution for him from him today. Who's gonna bowl the last over? It's like it's Sampath Reddy, Balaji, Baraji. Look at that worm. It was right above and just meeting at the last over of the innings. Just crossing the uh, Midwest Stars worm. Definitely a lot of uh, dot balls in their innings. Very few boundaries with both the teams today. A lot of commotion between the keeper and the captain, making sure they have the field right. Oh, top edge. Will this go to the boundary? No, keeper runs in. Arvind running. Oh, the bowler did not collect the ball. Then they ran three runs. It was very crucial. First ball, definitely Arvind feeling it. He's been there from the ball one. Definitely, it will be a uh, added pressure for the new batsman. Who, if he come, if a new batsman comes in now, Arvind taking his time. Will this be a tie? Made with stars. Had the tie with the last game. Seven needed of five. Will Arvind go for the boundary? Uh, Balaji coming in. Shot. Banged it in. Shot. Easy throw. Oh. Oh. Finally. He was able to. Gather it properly and Arvind is out. 
It was a great delivery. I asked Patel out of in a flash. But the ball ricochet off of the ground and Balaji was able to uh, able to gather it correctly and dislodge the bales. The new batsman in. Good knock by Arvind. Unfortunate way to get out. Ayaz was out of the blocks and he just unable to reach the other end. Seven of four. Ayaz on strike. Edge. Oh, again a throw. Cleanly picked up by Balaji. And again, it's a run out. This time, Sunny Bhatti throwing directly into the hands of the bowler. With that wicket, it's a dot ball. So seven needed of three deliveries. Anything can happen. In a short ball, oh, six balls, two runs. Oh, two balls, six runs. <laughs> the pressure is getting to me now. <laughs> And Shahid marshalling his troops, making sure everyone is where the bowler wants. Two balls and six runs needed. Oh, what a shot. Usher covering it. And well, they were able to get two runs, but still brings four from the last delivery. One hit away, Skokie Raiders, and one ball away, Midwest Stars. Runadeep on strike for the last ball. 
Just swings it hard. Curran coming in. Oh, he misses the ball and throws it back. Easily collected by Shahir. And he just makes sure that the stumps are dislodged. There you go. Midwest Stars pulls off a crucial victory out of nowhere. There was a misfield by Karan. Ranadeep Aliti not able to come back quickly for the third run. It would have been a definitely a a draw, which Midwest Stars would have not expected. Again, a beautiful display of cricket here. Both the teams. Showing a lot of character. Uh, definitely Usher Mehdi's uh, innings today with the bat. And his contribution with the ball would definitely uh, award him the man of the match. Uh, beautiful knock of 49 out of 22 balls where his team needed And Skoki Raiders, Arvin Sharu playing a 33 uh, knock of 40 balls. Unable to uh, get his team the victory that they wanted. A, a great performance from Skoki Raiders bowlers. Ali with the figures of 13 for 2. And from Midwest Stars, the best bowling uh, figure is from uh, Amin Jelani. 13 runs given in his four overs. Uh, let's look at the points table. Paddington Cricket Club still on the top. Midwest Stars earning this two points, but since the match went to the last delivery they were not able to uh, have a good net run rate yet they take the second place Hoffman Rangers Chicago players and Skokie Raiders follow the tree so we are done with the game and we will be back in a short bit for the presentation Stay tuned.
All-Star for winning up the game and also staying in the playoff race. Hard luck, Skokie Raiders. I would like to invite the captain, Rana Deep, to have a few words with us. Rana, excellent balling in the first half of the innings until Ashar Mehdi came in in this 15th over. He changed the game, 22 uh, balls, 49 runs. That, do you think that was the turning moment of the match? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think the way we were going uh, in the power play and also of, of the 15 overs, right? We thought we were going to get them below 100 runs. But yeah, the way Asher played uh, was amazing in innings. So I thought we could have restricted him, uh, you know, less than 100. That caused us game actually today. Being uh, outfield is very wet and, you know, the run, scoring runs are very tough. Uh, they did a pretty good job to restrict us to chase the run. 10 runs required in the last over. Uh, Ayas Padel was on the crease. You know, all bets were on. Why they ran? Do you know what was the plan? Like, if the ball goes to the keeper, you should run? No, I mean, even I was not expecting that. But uh, I think, you know, they just wanted to tickle the runs going on. So that's why they just ran. And, you know, he got run out. That was unlucky. As soon as long as Ayaz Bhai was there, we thought we we're going to get this game. But, yeah, it was just unlucky. Hard luck for today's game. And good luck for the rest of the season. Uh, now I would like to invite the captain of Midwest Star, Ash. Um, Shahir Hassan, if you can come, if you can can come on the center. Excellent win. Thank you, sir. Uh, Asher Bai played exceptionally well today. <laughs> Just today. Asher Bai is a legend, man. So he played well. He took the responsibility. I think it was a crucial win for us uh, to make us to the playoffs. So Asher Bai, good inning, man. Well played. And Sampat defended 10 in the last over. I think credit goes to all the bowlers. Yeah, they put 10 runs for the last over because we were still low scores. So credit goes to everybody uh, for defending a good total. Congratulations for the win and good luck for the rest of the tournament. Uh, we will drive straight into the awards. Um, Tariq Bhai, if you can present the award. Uh, most force goes to Ashar Mehdi. Ashar Mehdi, if you can come up on these. Tariq Bhai, ah, so Kalim bhai, if you can come up on the stage and present the award. Kalim bhai, the umpire for today's game. The legend of the game of Midwest region. Most sixes goes to Ashar Mehdi. Thank you. Most wickets goes to Liaquat Ali from Skokie Raiders. Most runs, Ashar Mehdi, 49 runs of 22 balls. Catch of the match, as per the umpires, goes to Liaquat Ali. The game changer for today's game, as per the umpire, goes to Asher Mehdi. Well uh, don't go anywhere. You are also the man of the match, Asher Mehdi. Man of the match, number 18. Congratulations. That's all from the presentation ceremony. We'll see you next week for Barrington and Hoffman State Rangers. Whoever going to win that game will take the top position in the points table. With that, we are signing out.